Hi, hello, welcome to your home school. This is your class 9 mathematics NCRT or CBSC board. We are in our fourth chapter polynomials and your last exercise, exercise 4.5. What is your first main? Using suitable identities and then find the product. Normally, if they won't say any product of identity, we can directly multiply this, right? But the question is different now. What is that? Apply the identity and find the product. So, which identity is suitable here, children? Look here. First question, x plus 4 into x plus 10. Which identity you can remember? Yes, that is x plus a into x plus b. Okay, now compare and write x value and a value. So, let's start here. Solution given x is equal to x. A is equal to how much? 4 and b value is 10. What is this identity? x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus of a plus b into x plus a b. Okay. Now let's solve this one. x plus 4 into x plus 10 is equal to x square plus x value is x. So now a value is 4 and b value is 10 into x plus 4 into 10. Now x square plus 4 plus 10 will be 14x and 4 tens are it will be 40. This is your answer. Okay. Second one. x plus 8 into x minus 10. See uh, I feel that all the problems regarding this identity. Okay. So now look here. It will be in the form x plus a into x plus b. Don't write here x minus b. You don't have any identity like that. So, your x value is x. On comparing, you can say a value is 8 and your b value. Here, negative sign you have. Take minus also. b value is minus 10. Now, write the identity x square plus of a plus b into x plus a b. Every time identity is compulsory. Now write this one. x plus 8 into x minus 10 is equal to x square plus a value is 8, b value is minus 10. 8 plus of minus 10. See carefully what I am writing here into x plus a b 8 into if you write simply like this 8 minus 10 you do so better you can choose brackets now this one x square 8 plus into minus minus that will be 8 minus 10 into x plus Minus into plus, it will be minus, no? Minus 8 tens are 80. So, 8 minus 10 will be minus 2. So, that is x square minus 2x minus 80 is your final answer for x plus 8 into x minus 10. Last line you write there for x plus 8 into x minus 10 is equal to x square minus 2x minus 80. So, look here. Third problem. Third problem. 3x plus 4 into 3x minus 5. Same manner. Compare with the values. x plus a into x plus b. On comparing, your x value is 3x and a value is 4 b value is minus 5. x value is 3x. a value is 4. b value is minus 5. So, write the identity. x plus a into x plus b is equal to 
x square plus of a plus b x plus a b. Okay. So now write this. 3x plus 4 into 3x minus 5 is equal to. Your x value is 3x, right? Substitute here. 3x whole square plus wherever you have a, b, x, you substitute children. A value is 4. B value is minus 5. Whenever you have a negative sign, take brackets. And x value is 3x plus a, b. 4 into minus 5. Right? This will be 3x whole square. 9x square. Plus into minus. Minus 4 minus 5 will be minus 1 into 3x minus. Plus into minus will be minus 4 5s are 20. That is equal to 9x square minus 3x minus 20. This is your answer. Fourth problem, y square plus 3 by 2 into y square minus 3 by 2. So, which identity I can apply here? I can apply here x plus x minus b? No. A value and b value should be different if you need to apply that identity. But here, both x value is same and here this value is same. So, what you can think here? Yes, it is in the form of x plus y into x minus y. So, let's write that identity children. x plus y into x minus y is equal to x square minus y square. So, now on comparing what you can say x value is how much? y square and y value is how much? 3 by 2. Right? So now apply here. y square plus 3 by 2 into y square minus 3 by 2. That is equal to x square children. x value is y square. So y square whole square minus y value is 3 by 2. And y square means 3 by 2 whole square. Finally. So, again here you can remember some identity. That is a power m whole power n. How can you write this? a power mn. That is y power. Powers you can multiply. 2 twos are 4. Minus this one. 3 threes are 9 by 2 twos are 4. Look here, the whole square, a by b whole power m, a power m by b power m. Last year we have studied this one, right? So you need to apply these laws. So finally, do the LCM here, 4 y power 4 minus 9 by 4 is your answer. Here, fifth sub question, 3 minus 2x into 3 plus 2x. Again, which identity you can see here? This value is same and this value is also same. Whereas they are differing with the middle sign. Here it is negative, here it is positive. So, I can remember it as x minus y into x plus y. Means same identity children. This set friend I have written. Both are same. This equal to x square minus y square. Now on comparing with this, you see the x value. x value is 3 and y value is 2x. Don't write minus now. In your formula, minus already there. Write only positive value. So now find out for the given problem answer. 3 minus 2x into 3 plus 2x is equal to... 3 whole square minus 2x whole square. That will be 3 threes are 9 minus 2x into 2x. It will be 4x square. Finally, your answer is 9 minus 4x square. 
okay uh, solve these all problems carefully children once if you learn perfectly no need of looking back any time suppose if you are doing all with a confusion or any doubt then always these type of problems will be a confusion for you okay when you are learning in your first step of your identities and applying those identities in these problems once if you do now itself perfectly then you remember for life long your second main evaluate the following products without multiplying directly is your main heading so in the second main first problem we should not multiply directly we have to use some of the other identity which identity we can go here so 103 split this 103 how can you say 100 plus 3 107 100 7 yes any way uh, we can do a single problem in two three methods we can do whichever method is striking for you you go with that identity so let me split this problem as 100 plus 3 into 100 plus 7 Now it is easy to identify which identity x value is same, and whereas this is different, then what you can say x plus a into x plus b. So now, on comparing x plus a into x plus b, what is that? X square plus of a plus b into x plus a b. Right now, compare this one with this. Your x value is hundred. You can write here. Comparing also, you can write x is equal to hundred. A is equal to three, and b is equal to seven. Okay. Now again, we write this hundred plus three into hundred plus seven is equal to. What is your identity? Wherever you have x, a, b, substitute that. X value is hundred whole square plus a value three, b value seven into hundred plus a, b three into seven. That will be hundred hundred. So what happens here? Two zeros. You will get your answer four zeros. That is ten thousand. Three plus seven will be ten. Ten into hundred will be thousand. Plus seven three is a seven three is a how much twenty one. Now add all these children. How can you add this? Add these children. You are going to get here eleven thousand twenty one is your answer. When you multiply one not three into one not seven. You are going to get eleven thousand twenty one, but we should not do actual multiplication. We used to find the answer using identity. So look the second problem here. Ninety five ninety six. Ah ninety five ninety plus five into ninety plus six you can do, or hundred minus five is ninety five. Hundred minus four is ninety-six. Any way you can do, children. Don't feel that oh, ninety only taught us. Only ninety I need to choose. No, no. You have done this one with hundred, no? Now let me do this with which one you want? Ninety or hundred? Which one you are comfortable? You can go with that. Ninety-five. Let me split like this. Hundred minus five. Ninety-six. Hundred minus four is ninety six. Hundred minus five is ninety five. Now, which identity you can remember? X is same. A B, right? So now, X plus A into X plus B is equal to X square plus of A plus B into X plus A B. Observe here, children. You don't have any plus. So on comparing, what you are going to write? Comparing, compare with this identity and say x is equal to how much? Hundred. 
A is equal to how much? Don't say only 5. You have to use the sign also because in your identity you have positive value. A is equal to minus 5 and B is equal to minus 4. Now substitute that here. That will be 100 minus 5 into 100 minus 4. That is equal to, in X place you write 100 whole square plus of A value was minus 5 plus of minus 4. That will be minus 5 minus 4 into 100 plus AB minus 5 into minus 4. Okay, that will be, how much your answer here children? 100 square, it will be. 10,000 minus 5 minus 4 will be minus 9. Minus 9 into 100 minus 900. Okay, minus into minus plus 5 fours are 20. Okay, 10,000 minus 900 plus 20. What it will be here? 10,000 minus 900 it will be 9,100 you are left here. So, 9,100 plus 20, 9,100 plus 20, that will be 9,120 is your answer. Okay, observe here carefully and do the problem. See the last problem of this mean. So, your problem moving towards this side, right? So, look here, 104, 96 children. So, common number you have to take. How can you take? I'll split this as 100 plus 4 and this one as 100 minus 4. Yes or no? 100 minus 4 will be 96. 100 plus 4 will be 104. Which identity you can see here? x plus y into x minus y. Write the identity. x plus y into x minus y. That will be x square minus y square. Okay. Rewrite here. So that is 100 plus 4 into 100 minus 4 is equal to 100 whole square minus 4 whole square. That will be 100 whole square will be 10,000 minus 4 4 16. So now let's subtract here 10,000 minus 16. 10,000 minus 16 will be how much children? 9,984. Therefore your answer is 9,984. Right? With this we are going to end our second main. Okay? With this we are going to end our session here children. In our next session we are going to continue with the next main. Until that keep watching. Thank you all.